Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Brittany, and this is my dog Bardo behind me. She wanted to be part of this. And I'm actually here with a bonus video this week. And this one is particularly exciting because I am going way out of my comfort zone and I am going to attempt to do some new hairstyles. If you go back and look at every single video I've ever made, my hair is always down. I never have done anything with my hair. And a big part of that is because I will admit it, I'm self-conscious about my ears. So I have limited hair options, but I decided to push myself and I found some hairstyles that I think are really pretty and unique and also easy to do. And they don't show the ears. I am partnering with eSalon on this video. Some of you might remember I worked with them about six months ago or so, and I had such a great experience working with them. And you guys seem to really enjoy the products. I had so many of you guys email me, leave comments, tweet me saying that you loved what you got from them. I really do believe in their products. It's pretty much only what I've been using for the past six or seven months now. I have my mom using their products. My two best friends are using their products. So it's not just something I'm saying to you guys. It's genuinely what I use. So I'm actually going to start this video by showing you my hair routine and how I prep my hair for styling. This has been highly requested by you guys. A lot of you ask how I do my hair. So I'm going to show you that as well. So kind of killing two birds with one stone. So first we're going to jump into how I prep my hair and then I'm going to show you some really easy, pretty hairstyles. So we're going to start off in the shower. I first need to apologize for my back knee situation. This is just a fun pregnancy symptom that I'm dealing with, so please try to ignore it. So after shampooing my hair, I used my favorite hair mask ever. It's called Devoted to Hue, and this is a two-in-one product. So it's both a hydrating hair mask and a color enhancing treatment to boost your hair color. Since I'm blonde, I use the blonde neutralizer, which has a purple tint to it, which neutralizes the brassy tones. They also have this for other hair colors, so brunettes, redheads. This has been making such a huge difference in my hair. I use it about once a week and I leave it in for 10 minutes. You can see as soon as I rinse this out, how my hair instantly looks so much softer and less brassy. So after my shower, I let my hair air dry about 80% and then I apply perfect ending leave-in conditioner before blow drying my hair. So this is a multi-purpose leave-in conditioner. It detangles, hydrates, and helps reduce frizz, which I desperately need because I have bleached blonde hair and tons of frizz. So I focus this mostly on the mid to end part of my hair and then I start blowing my hair dry. I use my blow dryer on a medium heat setting and I focus the air downward only since my hair is so prone to frizz. This just helps smooth out the cuticle and make it look as shiny as possible. Once my hair is completely dry, I apply just a few drops of this renewing treatment oil to the ends of my hair. And this gives my hair some added shine. For bleach blonde hair, it's really hard to get any shine to your hair. This oil contains argan oil and also coconut oil. So that's why it works so well. I'm also clipping in one weft of extensions just to give some added volume for these hairstyles. So to curl my hair, I just use this really inexpensive curling wand, nothing fancy. It's one and a quarter inch and I curl my hair in sections away from my face. And one thing I do is I don't curl it all the way to the bottom. I leave about two inches out at the end and this gives it a less done, more beachy curl type of look. Once all of my hair is curled, I leave it like this and I wait to brush it out for about 15 to 20 minutes. I let it all set and then once I brush it out, I have loose curls. Okay, so now for our hairstyles, this is two days later and to start the process, I want to absorb some excess oil and give my hair a little bit of texture for styling. So I use the Without a Trace Dry Shampoo. Not only is this going to absorb the oil, but also gives my hair amazing volume, which I absolutely love. It actually works better for me than anything else I've tried. I also love this because it doesn't leave any residue or white cast in my hair and it smells amazing. It's so good. If you guys want to try Isalon products, you can go to Isalon slash Brittany and try any three full size products for only $15, which is such an amazing deal. I will have the link in the description box below. Now for the first hairstyle, this is a twist literally on a regular side braid. So you wanna part your hair to one side and grab a section on the top about three to four inches wide and split this into two. Clip off one section just so it's out of the way and take the other section and begin to twist it all the way to the end. Tie that section off and then do the same with the other section. Yeah. 
Then take both of these twisted sections and twist those together like so. And then you can just take this piece and clip it off at the base of your neck. Now take your remaining hair off to one side and split it into two sections. We're gonna do the exact same thing here. So twist both of these sections separately. I'm twisting the first section away from my face and then taking the second section and twisting that towards my face and taking both of these sections and twisting them together so it becomes kind of like a twisted side braid and it does stay in place like this all day. I think this looks so pretty and romantic and it is so easy and simple to do. When I wore this out, I actually got several compliments on it, so I am going to be wearing this all the time now. So for the second hairstyle, you want to start with a three inch section of hair at the top of your head. And I decided to add one clip of extension here just for added volume since my hair is a little bit thin and then just do a basic braid. Once I braided all the way to the bottom, I just slightly pulled it apart just to give it a little bit more volume. Then I took a two inch section of hair right below the braid I just made. I did decide to clip another extension to this and then again, just did a basic braid all the way to the bottom. This braid I wanted slightly thinner than the first one so I didn't pull this one apart once I was done. Then on the other side of my head, I took a two inch section of hair a little bit below the part and I did the exact same thing. I just clipped in one extension and did a basic braid. So once you have your three basic braids to put this all together, you wanna to take the first biggest braid and wrap it behind your head and pin it to the other side underneath the braid on that side so it's completely hidden. Then take that second braid that's right below it and lay it right underneath and then again pin it underneath that section of hair on the other side. Then take that last remaining braid, wrap it over to the other side and then bobby pin it underneath those two braids so it's completely hidden and that's it. I love this hairstyle because it looks really good from all angles. From the front, I still have hair framing my face and my ears aren't showing. And on the back, you have these three beautiful cascading braids and it looks so much more complicated and time consuming than it really is. All you're really doing here is three basic braids and I think this hairstyle is so pretty. So this last hairstyle is the easiest of the three. You just need to start by pulling up half of your hair and putting it into a messy bun. I did this so I still had hair framing my face in the front. Once you have your messy bun, then take just a three inch section of hair right under the part that's pulled up and do any braid that you want. I decided to try doing a fishtail braid for the first time. It was really easy to do, though I will say it does take more time than a regular braid. Pretty simple to do. I'll leave a more detailed tutorial down below if you need more instruction. So once I had my fishtail braid, I pulled it apart to give it some added texture and volume. And that's it, this is so simple to do. It gives a cool boho vibe to it and it works really well on dirty textured hair. So you can even do this on four or five day old hair and it's going to look amazing. All right guys, let me know in the comments which hairstyle was your favorite one two or three. Also, don't forget to go over to eSalon and check out their products. They are offering you guys an insane deal, which is three full-size products for $15. I can't even get over that. And the link is eSalon slash Brittany if you guys want to get that deal. Thank you guys, as always, so much for watching. This is a new video topic for me, so if you did enjoy it and you want to see me do more hairstyle type videos in the future, then give this a thumbs up so I know, and I will see you in a few days with a new video. Bye.